Hello everyone, this is Caleb Simpson here from ZeldaDungeon.net, and this time around we're going to be taking a look at The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Now the game was originally released in December of 2006 for both the GameCube and the Wii consoles. It was released during the same time that the Wii console itself was being released, so a lot of you probably picked up this game along with your Wii console when you first bought it. Uh, so that being said, some of you may have fond memories of this game as being one of the first games that you played on your Wii. Um, now that being said, I'm going to be recording this on the Wii version of the game in 16x9 widescreen. This whole walkthrough is going to be broken up into about 22 chapters, and each video is going to be about 10 minutes or less in order to fit on YouTube. Uh, so this particular chapter, for example, is 47 minutes, and is going to be broken up into a convenient 6 videos. So you can see it on our website, you can go there, and we will have a list of all of the videos, all in order, um, and the playlist will have um, comments along the side that will tell you exactly when we get everything, all the heart pieces, everything. And like I say, we're going to, this is going to be a 100% walkthrough, so we will be getting all of the heart pieces, all of the golden bugs, all of the pole souls, everything. We're going to be unlocking all of the secrets. So as we start this game, you'll see that Link and uh, Russell are sitting here in front of Farron Spring, and Russell acts as Link's mentor in the game. So Russell is making some comments about uh, how the mayor asked him to bring a package to Hyrule, and Link has never been to Hyrule, and so Russell asked him if he would like to go there in his stead and deliver the package. And Link doesn't say anything one way or the other, however it is implied that he agrees to go. Link will never say anything throughout this entire game, um, as he doesn't in any of the other games either. Link is a very silent hero, apparently. So, Link is our protagonist in the, in the series, and uh, you can name him whatever you want as you begin the game. Uh, I'm going to be leaving his name as Link, uh, just to preserve the, you know, that's just what he is. So, um, and you'll also see that Link has his horse here, Epona, and you can also name her whatever you like as well. So here they are, they locked the gate to Faron, and they're walking back to the village, passing Ord on the spring here. We'll deal more with that here in a moment. Throughout this walkthrough, I will be including all of the cutscenes and such because we believe that it adds value to the walkthrough. Because there are a lot of you probably on YouTube and such that are walking, watching this walkthrough just for the sake of entertainment and not necessarily because you need help in the, in the game. So we're going to be including those things. And here you see Russell is walking back to the village. He has uh, a little boy next to him who is named Colin, that is his son. And he's standing next to him is also his wife, Yuli. Um, so as we start here, you'll see that... Um, it is now daytime, the day has passed, and there's a strange, mysterious girl who is walking up. She then takes the reins of Epona and leads her off into the woods. So we'll deal more with that in a moment. Next up, this new character here will run up, and his name is Fado. And he'll call to Link to wake him up, and he will say that he needs help uh, at the ranch. And Fado acts as, uh, he's Link's co-worker at the ranch, um, and they're both goat herders. So he needs help to herd the goats, and he asks Link to come down and help, and then he will then notice that Epona is missing, and he'll be very concerned because Link needs Epona to herd the goats. So, Fado is a little bit confused. So at this point, you will gain control of Link, and you will appear outside his house, and you can talk to Fado if you so desire by simply running forward and pressing A, and he will tell you to go find Epona. So that sounds like a good idea. So head off to the left and you can enter these woods here where the girl disappeared to. And now just a quick comment, at the bottom of the screen you will see there is a fairy here. and This is the pointer which is found only in the Wii version of the game. And you can disable it if you like by pressing the plus symbol on your controller and you can go to the options and disable the pointer. Uh, most of the time it's kind of pointless. I will be keeping it out of the way. I will be using the pointer. I will not be disabling it. Um, and it's kind of pointless all the time, except for when you're using ranged weapons, at which point I find it incredibly useful. It allows you to get more precise aiming when using ranged weapons such as the bow or the slingshot or the boomerang. So um, the rest of the time it doesn't really have much purpose. In any case, you want to run forward and head off to the Ordon Spring, which is on your right. You'll see lovely Ilya here. And she, it turns out that she just took Epona to give her a bath. So, um, and it's not really... It's never really specifically said, um, however it is implied that Ilya acts as Link's love interest in the game, because they're both all, ah, at each other all the time. So you want to run forward, you can talk to Ilya if you so desire, and um, she will ask you to pick up that piece of grass and play that song that Epona likes so much. So if you head over here, you'll see a little patch of funny looking grass that conveniently looks like a horseshoe, who'd have thought, and you can blow on it to play Epona's song from previous Zelda titles. This will make Epona come to you. So Epona, or horse grass is kind of found um, throughout Hyrule, so you can use it to summon Epona wherever you're at. Uh, then you can, if you talk to Ilya, she'll tell you to treat Epona nicely and such. And this is because she has a close bond with Epona, and uh, 
and she actually gets mad at Link later in the game for not treating Epona nicely. In any case, you want to uh, just head back south to get back to the village and talk to Fado again. However, he is not here in front of Link's house anymore. He went back to the ranch to wait for you. So you want to just continue through this area to get to the main part of the village. So as you enter the village, you'll get a nice overview of, of the town. And like most of the 3D titles, uh, they usually have a a town or a village that kind of acts as training before you tackle the rest of the game. And this game is no different. There is This is the training village of sorts, and you will be learning a lot of cool things as you do these little quests uh, before we actually dive into the heart of the game. Uh, in any case, you want to head forward, and we're just going to be going straight through this village. However, you can talk to all the families that are outside right now. If you talk to this family here, there's, there's Sarah, who owns a a shop called Sarah's Sundries, and uh, she sells various goods, and we'll be uh, buying some stuff there later. Uh, in any case, uh, her husband, Hanch, uh, they explain that there's a monkey problem in the village, and he says that he can't catch them and everything, so she says, you know, what blatantly, what a lazy and good-for-nothing husband he is, which is kind of depressing. They also have their daughter out here, uh, Beth, and she doesn't say much, but we'll be talking with her more later. Uh, you can head forward, and you'll see there's Russell and Colin and Yuli here again, and uh, you can talk to either Colin or Russell, and they'll both tell you that uh, Colin is making a fishing rod for Link, uh, but it'll probably be ready tomorrow, so we'll pick that up at a later time. You can head on forward uh, a little more, and there's one more character here we can talk to, and his name is Mayor Bo, and he's the mayor of uh, Ordon Village, as the name implies, and uh, he is actually the father of Ilya, uh, who is the girl who was washing Epona earlier, so you can, we'll actually talk to Mayor Bo more often later on, he kind of plays a pivotal role in the storyline uh, at a later time. In any case, you want to head forward and we'll see this big area, which is Ordon Ranch, and there's an overview that shows uh, showcases some uh, horse grass there, so you can summon Epona if you enter this area and you don't have her with you at the time. Uh, in any case, you can actually you can get off Epona and you can go pet some of the goats, it's kind of funny. Just walk up to them and press A. In any case, you want to run forward and talk to Fado, and he will tell you that the goats aren't really listening to them real him at the moment, so he asks you if you could herd them. So. This will start a little mini game of sorts. Um, and this time around, you actually have unlimited time to do so, so it's actually pretty easy. Uh, later on, you can actually do a little mini game and uh, try and herd the goats uh, within a limited amount of time for a heart piece. So this is kind of training for that, as well as just getting used to riding a pono. So we'll be doing that quite a bit in this game. Um, now. In order to herd the ghosts, the best thing to do is you'll notice that they, they kind of maneuver around and kind of go towards, uh, they kind of get away from Link uh, when you're walking towards them, but then if you can press the A button to whoop, this will make them run forward in the direction they're facing very quickly. So what you want to do is you want to kind of get them facing the right direction by walking behind them, and then press A to make them run quickly in the right direction. And like I say, you have unlimited amount of time, so it's actually quite easy, you know, don't worry, if you totally mess up, you're fine. In any case, once you are done, then Fado will thank you for herding all the goats for him, and then he'll mention real quick, oh, let me set up the fences for you so you can practice jumping over them. So how you do this is you just simply want to run forward and then press A to use your spurs. This will allow you to uh, make a point of run really quickly and she will automatically jump over fences if you are facing straight at it. So join me for the next video and we will continue our way through tackling this first area of the game.